Well, here we have the Conago K1 of 2018 Ironman 70.3 European champion, Rudy von Berg. Well, Conago is not a brand that we see all that often in the triathlon world, full stop but Conago is a very well-established Italian brand. We see a lot of them in the road cycling world and it would appear that they have quite an interest in triathlon now too. They've been sponsoring Rudy for the last couple of seasons. I believe he got this bike back in April of 2018 and he's ridden it to quite some success over that past season and into 2019, including actually winning Ironman 70.3 St. George in quite some style. So let's start by taking a closer look at the front end of the bike. We've got a very clean cockpit here, very simple base bar design. It's very flat and quite a narrow fit. And then coming up from that, we've got the riser stack, which I understand from Rudy, he's got the angled riser sent through from Colnago especially so they can really optimize his position. So then we've got this angled aero bar coming off, which is a 51 speed shop ski bend, which comes from Matt Steinmetz in Boulder, who is renowned for his bike fitting, it happens to be where Rudy is based and does a lot of his training from. And then on top of those, he's actually changed the elbow pads for the Kismet ones, which Matt Bottrell actually sells and gets a lot of his athletes to use because it's got this cup design, which really holds the elbows in and allows them to get into a really good position. And then between these aero bars, we've got the XLab Torpedo Mini Mount um, with a torpedo bottle cage. But interestingly, between this, we've got quite a weird looking bottle here. And this is the Speed Sip, which I believe is being released very soon. And the idea being that you don't have to angle your head right up to take a drink. You can just hold it there and just square it in nice and easily. So yeah, very interesting. Excited to see them coming out. And then between the aero bars as well, we've got the Pioneer bike computer, which links up to the power meter. And obviously the bike comes with Shimano Durace Di2 group set with the simple and single blips on the end of the aero bars here and on the base bar here. And then obviously the brake levers controlling rim brakes on this bike. So we've got a rim brake hidden beneath the bottom bracket and then also within the fork here. Now, normally this, this bike would not come with an aero cover here, but they've really gone to quite some length to design and make an aero cover for Rudy and a number of the other pros, which just sort of clips on and covers all of that cabling and braking away. And now moving on to the chain set area, and as mentioned just before, he is using a Pioneer power meter, which is dual sided, both left and right. He's got Shimano Dura Ace chain rings, and he's running actually a 5539, which goes against what they normally suggest, but I'm gathering that that's probably offering quite a good gear ratio for him. He's then using 175 crank lengths with look Keo blade pedals on the end of them. And then you probably notice the rather white chain. Yes, it is another ceramic speed chain, all race ready ahead of the championship race here in Slovakia. And of course, the ceramic speed OSPW jockey wheels, which smooths out that chain flow, reduces the friction of the chain normally going through those quite tight angles of the rear mech. And then finally, it's got an 1128 cassette. Now moving on to the wheels, and Rudy is a DT Swiss ambassador. So on the front, we've got the DT Swiss Arc 1100 die cut wheel. And then on the rear, we have a DT Swiss disc, but I'm sure many of you know that DT Swiss don't actually do their own disc wheel. You may also recognize the fairly obvious design. It is a lightweight disc, only vinyled up with DT Swiss on it. Now, DT Swiss do supply a lot of bearings to other wheel manufacturers, so I can only imagine they've sourced it from a lightweight and put their own decals on. In terms of the tyres, we've got Vittoria Corsa Speed on both the front and the rear, but we have a clincher tyre on the front for the 1100, and that's in a 23mm, and we have a tubular tyre for the lightweight wheel on the back, and again, that's in a 23mm. And one final finishing touch with the wheels, which I really like, it's gone to quite some length to make sure this bike is a real aero machine, we have some aero skewers for both the front and the rear. On a couple of final bits now, we've got an Elite Chrono bottle on the down tube, so a nice aero bottle. And actually, interesting, quite a simple and minimal hydration and bottle setup there, so it'll be quite interesting to hear from Rudy what he plans to do for race day here at the championship. And then we also have a saddle that we don't see all that often, we've got the Cobb Plus. But now, let's take a look at the weight. Ooh, eight. 0.84, it's fairly light I'd say, or a lot lighter than most TT bikes, considering it's got a disc on it, it's pretty good going. 
Cool, really, this is a fantastic bike. Now, this is obviously all race ready for the championship this weekend. What's going in each of these bottles? How is it all set up for race day? So in the front bottle, I always have water, and that's what I'll throw away and get new water at the new age stations. And then I have all my calories here from my infinite nutrition, and uh, I just have to finish that bottle by the end of the ride. Does that have gels squeezed into it? Or no, it's just a lot of powder. Okay. But it's, uh, it's low taste, and it's a custom formula they make for me. So uh, I just have to finish it by the end of the ride, and I know I got all my calories, all my carbs. Nice. And then yeah. what do you take on when you're on the run, then? Then on the run, I just use the aid stations. Yeah, yeah. okay, fantastic. Yeah. Um, and in terms of your race kit, so you've got your RYD. Um, got my ride race suit here. Very nice. New one, custom for the race. I gotta say, that's probably one of my favorite race suits yeah. on the scene, mm -hmm. yeah. It's very cool. So this is a brand new one for this race in particular. Yeah, it's similar design as we've had the last few races, but it's uh, just new sleeves, longer sleeves, and uh, kind of a slightly new design, but more or less the same. Super, yeah. and then down here we've got, so you're an Ecoy ambassador. Yeah. I assume, so do you know the name of this helmet? Koina 2. Very nice. So Kona, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then this is a removable visor. Yeah, yeah, you move I'm that. not going to break it. And does it, will it flip Yeah, it there? actually, it goes on top here. Ah, like super. Yeah. So you can do that through transition, flip it around if you right. wanted to. Right, I have to put it on with it on top. Okay. And then yeah, I yeah. just, it, you can easily put it back on. And with your name on it, nice. That's it. Um, and then finally, you see we've got your bike shoes, the TR1 by Eco as well. Yeah, um, these are new and actually they're really good. They're yeah. pretty narrow, so pretty arrow, and uh, super easy to put on. So these are okay. these are actually tri-specific, obviously, these but then they kind of look almost like a road shoe, which is right. quite nice. Yeah, so you've got yeah. the boa, and then they're quite breathable on the top, which is yeah, yeah. pretty good for... No, I'm very happy with this. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's been brilliant. Thanks so much, Rudy, for loaning us your bike today. Um, it is fantastic. And if you guys like this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more from GTN, just click on the globe and subscribe. And if you want to see Ben Canood's bike, a uh, guy I race a lot, just click down here. <laughs>